This is part two of the cause video. We're going to be going over let's causative with the to suffix and the put causative with the us suffix. Let me. Let's. Let's. Let us. Next. 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 When the two suffix is added to a focus pronoun, the result is a verb that includes let in the meaning, as in these example models. In the translation to English, the emphasis is on the pronoun. When the two suffix is added to a verb that requires an animate subject, the result is a verb that includes let in the meaning. For example, each and eat has to have an animate subject because inanimate things cannot eat. And there are two ways to specify the action when the root is a focus pronoun. Utst hiat, let me, let me go, and then utst uhia, let me go also. Um, there's no apparent difference in the meaning of these two other than you have the u in your sentence. It is also possible for a noun to follow these focus pronouns with t. Again, these apparently all mean the same thing, with the only difference being that the last one with qui refers to something that will not be visible. So let me read these sentences to you. Utst and stracha. Utst u and stracha. Utst chi and stracha. And utst qui and stracha. These let causative are always imperative, that is, they are commands. And the subject of let causative is always an understood for you. The let causative never takes object suffixes. And the let causative can be attached to a transitive stem, but it isn't common. An example is quenuht, let someone see it. This is based on the transitive form quenuht, for see it. And our new vocabulary, oish, go aboard, oish. That's kunanets, hotnings and manu seek e tears now. Needs new chuck. Now we're on to the put causative with the a suffix. You freed me. Yeah, meanest. Yeah, You folks freed me. Yeah, meanest. Why? Yeah, meanest. Why? You freed us. Yeah, meanest. Yeah, meanest. You folks freed us. Yeah, meanest. Why? Yeah, meanest. Why? I freed you. Yeah, meanest. Yeah, uh, we freed you. Yeah, we must. Yeah, we must. I freed all of you. Yeah, we must tonight. Yeah, we must tonight. We freed you folks. Yeah, we must try. Yeah, we must try. I freed it. Yeah, Austin. Yeah, Austin. We freed it. You freed it. Uh, you folks freed it. He freed it. The root in the models is yah for free, undone, unbound, or loose. For example, yah. Sin means I'm free. Keep in mind that yuch is never used for the translation of English to free of charge or no cost. The set of object suffixes that are used with the us causative is different from those you've seen previously, but they are similar to those that occur with the 
new non-control transitive and the causative. So for me, um, suffix for that would be meanness, meanness, and then you, meena, meena. For us, it's meenish, meenish, and you folks, meena hai, meena hai. And for him, her, it, and them, you don't add anything to it. Note that just as with the t and new suffixes, when both subject and object are third person, the passive must be used. This is called the put causative because it usually can be translated with put, which means cause to be put at a particular place. So yahuas more precisely means freed there at, this, at that particular place. It would be used to refer to freeing someone from being tied up or locked up. It wouldn't be used to refer to freeing someone generally, say, as freeing a slave. To refer to freeing someone or something generally, the basic T transitive is used, yahuat. So compare these two sentences that illustrate the difference between the T and the us suffix. Yahuas tzen sa huelum. And then yahuat tzen sa huelum. The first sentence refers to freeing at a particular place, the knot in the rope. The second refers to freeing generally. There are a number of other routes where the put idea is more evident. Here's a list of new vocabulary items that uses the us causative. The word after each causative form shows the same root in a non-causative form. Note that these verbs all more or less refer to locations. Put it on. Etsas. Or eat some. And then put it inside, or enter. Take off or remove, or to come off. Put it in a container, us or now to be in. Put inside, skas, or the word suck, be outside. Throw it away, qua us, or the word quan, be lost. Hide it away, quias, or the word quai, be hidden. Leave it behind. Shoyas, for the word shoy, be abandoned. Note that each of these nine verbs involves action happening at a particular place, even if the English translation doesn't use put. Also note that the suffix is us with a weak and zero root. The suffix is us with strong roots, such as the last word listed. A new vocabulary word, pipa. For letter or paper, and supreme for bread. And our last Kwanawi. always you out Can such a way isn't